Hello, I am Jennifer and this is my obese reality. So I was watching a bit of the um, podcast with the A Daily Swole podcast and Alan Roberts and Obese to Beast were on there. And I think it was Alan Roberts who was talking about the importance of obese people sharing their story so people can see the realities of obesity. So that's what I've decided to do. And I decided to call this video, you know, My Obese Reality. And I want to turn this into a hashtag. And I want other people to make videos entitled My Obese Reality and people to share their story. I want this to be a thing. I want every person who either is obese or has been obese to talk about their story so people can really see like what it's like because you have these fat acceptance activists who talk about how it's just peachy keen to be obese and in my reality it's not and uh, I chose the name my obese reality in part because obese is a term that the fat acceptance folks don't like so they're less likely to to use that to use that name they might do something different but they're not likely to hijack the name and the hashtag to post their own narrative. So anyway, on to talking about my, my obese reality. So currently I'm like uh, 250, 52 pounds. So, and I am 5'9", so yes, that is obese. And at my heaviest, I was uh, 298 pounds. And... I recently got got hit with a real fat dose of reality. So I thought, you know, I should probably get some blood work done just to see where I'm at, you know, make sure everything is 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 okay. So I did. I messaged my doctor and said, "Hey, can I get some blood work?" And so the blood work was run through and and so then I got a I got a I got an email. I got a message back from one of the nurses who was uh, speaking on behalf of the doctor who's currently covering for my regular doctor. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what it says. So I've redacted the names because they're, they're not relevant and I don't wanna single anybody out or anything. Anyway, to Jennifer. And it says, Jennifer, ABA1C is elevated to 5.7 norm. Normal is 4.8 to 5.6. This is pre-diabetes. Recommend exercise five times weekly at 45 minute intervals, a five to 10% weight reduction, and a diet low in sugar, sweet soda, juice, carbs. LDL is elevated. T160, normal is under 100. Your 10-year risk of heart attack or stroke is sufficiently low. No medication is needed. Exercise and weight loss as above and elimination of processed packaged food intake, fast food, fried foods, fatty red meat, or cooking with butter. Vitamin D is low at 21. Normal is 30 to 100. Ideal is 40 or greater. Pick up prescription for high-dose vitamin D and take one pill weekly for 12 weeks. Thereafter, switched over the counter. Vitamin D3, 2,000 units, and daily indefinitely to prevent future deficiency. So finding out that I'm pre-diabetic, that is fucking scary. So let me Yeah. So yeah, that's that's fucking scary. Now, pre-diabetes is a condition where if you don't get on top of this, you could end up diabetic within 5 years. And diabetes is fucking scary. Like, you know, I've, I like watching, you know, I like watching like these reality TV shows with like emergency personnel, like, like the show Night Watch. And one of the things you see on these kinds of shows is you'll see people who end up like their blood sugar gets too low and they pass out. And, you know, I live alone. And so... The idea that I could fucking pass out because my blood sugar is too low and maybe hit my head on something and I could be fucking lying there on the floor unconscious and nobody there to help me like that shit fucking scares me 
Like, no fucking joke. It fucking terrifies me. And also, diabetes... Uh, diabetes also increases your risk of heart disease. That shit fucking scares me, too. Having a fucking heart attack when I'm here alone by myself, that fucking scares me. Having a heart attack and fucking dying terrifies my ass. I have, you know, anxiety issues. And whenever I get, like, a funny feeling in my chest or whatever, I have to stop and think, is that just my anxiety or am I having heart trouble? And there have been more than one, there's been more than one occasion when I've gone to the emergency room because I was having stuff, you know, funny feelings in my chest and I was worried, am I going to have a fucking heart attack? You know, I shouldn't have to think about whether to go to the emergency room every time my anxiety kicks in. This is no fucking joke. This is absolutely fucking terrifying. And if I don't get this shit under control, it's gonna fucking kill me. That's what's gonna fucking happen. It is going to fucking kill me. I'm 39, and this shit will eventually catch up with me, and I will die an early death. There is nothing fucking glamorous about this. It's not just fucking peachy keen to be obese and have to worry about having a heart attack or passing out from blood sugar issues or, you know, having to have a fucking foot amputated from diabetes. That is not fucking fun. It's fucking scary. And those of you out there who are just happily eating yourself into oblivion... You need to wake the fuck up. Because this is serious shit, and it's fucking scary. Okay? If you haven't been to your doctor, go to your fucking doctor. Get on the fucking scale. Get your fucking blood work done. And if your doctor tells you to, to lose weight and to cut the junk food out of your diet, fucking do it. Right now... Honestly, I'm both like I'm both just upset, scared, terrified, and fucking angry all in all wrapped into one. Cuz it just pisses me off that people are are normalizing obesity and and having this idea that it's just a okay. And it's not. Obesity usually comes with these other issues because of the crap that we're eating. So telling people that, oh, if you crave that donut, go ahead and have it. Fuck you. You're killing people. Nobody goes around saying, well, if you're, having, if you're craving that cigarette, go ahead and have that cigarette. Nobody's telling an alcoholic, hey, if you're craving that drink, drink up, buddy. Nobody fucking says that. And we really need to turn this shit around. And I think it is super important for obese people to tell their story and share their reality. We need to just be willing to open up and say, you know what, I'm obese and it fucking sucks and it's fucking scary. And just so people aren't overly worried about me, and I'm not overly worried about myself, I am taking control of things. High cholesterol is caused by too much saturated fat. And I started looking at the junk food that I was eating, and it's super high in saturated fat. So I cut out that high saturated fat junk food. And I've been, I've been you know, lifting weights three days a week, and I've just been in general improving my diet and cutting the crap out of it, and imagine that I'm eating a healthier diet and I'm getting exercise and lo and behold, I'm losing weight. What a fucking concept. So yeah, I guess that, that'll be it for now. 
But I, I encourage everyone who is obese or has been obese to make a video entitled My Obese Reality and use the fucking hashtag. And we need to get this started. This needs to be a fucking movement. I want to see My Obese Reality. I want to see that hashtag get more traction than health at every size. I wanted to see it get more traction than fat acceptance. I want to see a fucking tsunami of obese people sharing their story, sharing their reality. We've already seen some of this with people like I think it was Sherry Gold, I think was her name, and and what's that other black guy, oh, I can't remember his name, I Can Change, something like that. And of course, John from Obese to Beast has shared his story. But I really want people to share their story and I want, and just to make these stories easy to find, you know, call it my obese reality. Because I want people to really see the reality. And, and it's also, if you can, also if you're document your experience trying to deal with this, you know, so people can see that, yes, we can change. We can get our health under control. We can lose the weight. We can bring down our cholesterol. We can get our blood sugar in order. We can. So that is it for me. Thank you for watching this video and please follow me on all the social media things. They'll be down in the video description. And uh, the social media that I tend to be on the most is Instagram, so that's where you're most likely to get a hold of me. So thank you for watching this video, and I will see you later.